In this demonstration, I will show how to set up the control action for a particular application. If you wish your instrument to produce an output when the set point is above the process variable, the temperature, you will need to use reverse acting control. If you require the output to be at zero whilst the temperature is below the set point, then you will require direct acting. To change this particular value, press and hold down the page key until level 3 appears. Enter code 3. Press the page key until CTRL appears, the control list. Press the scroll key until CTRL.A appears. And you can see in this particular case, it is set to REU, which is a control action for the set point and the temperature. And when the set point is above the temperature, this will activate the output. Now to change this, we will need to page to access Press the scroll key, press the up arrow key for configuration, and enter number four. Press the page key until you reach CTRL, the control list. Press the scroll key a few times for CTRL.A. And you can change this here for direct or reverse acting. This time I will change it to direct acting. Exit config level. Now you can see there are no outputs because my set point is higher than my temperature. If I lower the set point value. Now you can see the output is starting to activate at this level. So that is a direct acting control action and is the opposite to reverse acting. <laughs> <laughs>